Hi, this is Christian Chu, and welcome to 3GE Talks, Practical Accounting for Business Owners. It's very hard to stay stagnant. On the contrary, it's a lot easier to either progress or regress. This saying holds true even to our possessions. When we have them, almost always they either increase or decrease in value, but hardly stay the same. Let's look at some of our major possessions or assets. First, we have cash. Imagine having 10,000 pesos 50 years ago. What sorts of products and services would you be able to buy then? Compare having 10,000 now. What will you be able to buy? Definitely, you could buy a lot more 50 years ago than today. That's because its purchasing power has decreased, which was driven by a constant price inflation. Second, we have our receivables. In our previous video, we explained how receivables are risky. The longer they stay uncollected, the higher their chances of becoming bad debts, and thus potentially losing value. Third, we have our investments and marketable securities. These are assets invested in other people's businesses or stocks. Basically, their values fluctuate based on how those businesses actually perform or how their respective stocks are being traded in the market. Fourth, we have our inventories. They can be raw materials, materials being manufactured, finished products, and merchandise inventories. These assets will eventually be sold at marked up prices, thus technically increasing value to our assets. However, with too much inventories, they can also be at risk of theft, obsolescence, damages, and expiration. Fifth and the last, we have fixed assets. These are those land, buildings, furniture and fixtures, equipment, and other assets we use to allow us to perform operations of our businesses. These possessions exempt land as they are being utilized, deteriorate in value due to wear and tear. Also, these equipment, when movable, are also subject to misplacement and theft. In conclusion, we have to assess whether the assets we keep on possessing can bring in more value in the future or on the contrary, lose value. Are we better off lending our cash to other people, gaining interest, but risking becoming uncollectible? Are we better off buying or renting a new equipment so we can provide more business values? Do we need to buy more inventory? What's the optimum equivalent amount for each asset type we can handle so we get the maximum increase in value? As business owners, that's something we always have to evaluate. Do we possess the right asset that can give us the best return? And finally, increasing our equity. That's something for you to think about. So until next week, continue planting because harvest will soon come.